Hi, I'm Jake. Hi, I'm Eliza, and welcome to Horse Rockets. In this episode, we're going to talk about the negatives and positives of homeschooling from both kids and parents' perspectives. We'll take time, do what you're going to do, and just smile, you're going to see it through. Your wings are going to sprout and lift you off the ground. No, no, take time, do what you're going to do. So Eliza, our main topic tonight is talking about the positives and negatives of homeschooling. But we haven't been doing this very long. How long have we been homeschooling? For almost a year. Yeah, a little less than a year. So we don't have all the answers or all the positives and negatives, but we've got a few of them we'd like to share with you guys tonight. So one of the biggest positives is how our family is, seems a bit stronger because the kids play with each other and work with each other and see a lot more of each other. And it's helped make us more of a, a stronger family. We notice it when we go out and we do things, but it's it's not perfect, is it, Liza? No. Sometimes I need alone time, sometimes we do too, us kids do, because we see each other 24-7 and it's hard for us to, we want to be with other friends, but our other friends are at school, so we have to find ways to get her away from each other so we usually play games or go up to our room for me I go up to my room and lock myself in it she'll come back out a couple hours later and she'll have been halfway through one of her books and telling us all about the cool things in it so it's not it's not terrible for me I like babysitting it helped me by my phone one of my friends that goes to our church she is she's a craft maker and she's having trouble doing a job, she works for a magazine, so since I'm homeschooled, I can go over and play with her kids and help her finish her work and play with some kids and get away from my family so I can have some alone time. Yeah, that time away is really important, and so instead of having it dictated for so many hours a day, we were able to have the flex flexibility and freedom to balance that out, and uh, Liza's taking good advantage of it. <laughs> um, Liza, what's your, your favorite hobby? Horse riding. And so, how has homeschooling helped you with your favorite hobby? It helped me by, I get to go and actually go during the day while other people are doing uh, at school. It helps the horse because then they're up and at it and not ready to go like to sleep because it's dark, almost dark when the kids get out of school. And it also helps me because then I'm up, ready to do stuff, and don't have a load of homework to do. Yeah, finding the time, uh, if you're going to do activities like that where it takes a few hours, it, it's really hard to get those activities in in that window between right after school and before dinner. Um, with the homeschooling schedule, you can kind of pick if it's a morning or an afternoon activity. And uh, it works out for us. Now, when you're there, there's not a whole lot of kids, are there? No. Um, so you're working with other adults. Is that awkward or weird or anything like that? No, it's not at all because then I feel like I'm grown up. At my house, at house, I kind of feel like a kid because my mom still kind of treats me like a kid. I can't do stuff she can. So when I go over there, they treat me more like an adult. Though I don't like picking up their hooves because the horse stepped on me. Okay. Well, outside of horses stepping on you, I think it's a good experience and a good opportunity to be treated like an adult is definitely helpful uh, at any age. So one of the things we mentioned was that, you know, you have the freedom on your schedule to do a lot of things, but how does that affect, like, your friends? Because what are your friends doing while you've got all this freedom? They go to school, and it's hard for me because... I don't, I'm getting used to, I'm still getting used to it because I'm used to being around people, seeing people, talking to people all the, most of the time. But now I'm getting used to, reused to talking to people, making new friends. My mom's trying to help me, but I say it's, she's helping me a lot, but it's still not helping me getting used to it. Yeah, so it, it takes some adjusting too, especially if you got a, one of the kids who was really, you know, um, at public school for a lot of years and kind of conditioned for that environment. This is a big shift and it takes a lot of courage 
for her to be able to, to do what she's doing and to be able to move forward and to say this is the way things are. Um, also moving as many times as we have this year, reestablishing those friendships is a lot easier when you're around a lot of kids. When you're not, it does make it more challenging and that does put a strain on the kids as you, as you try to live, live your life. Also, I noticed that my friends, as soon as they come home, they have a lot of schoolwork to do, so they have a hard time fitting into their schedule. So I usually don't play with them until the weekend when they have less homework to do, and it's easier for them and easier for me, though, not that, really. Yeah, you know, that's one of the things. So it's, you know, the, the homework becomes part of the schoolwork when you're homeschooled, because you're already at home. Right, but when you know you're at school, then you have the schoolwork at school and the homework at home, and the two are generally separated. And it does take up more time, uh, and we find that we we're able to get more done during the day um, this way. And that that scheduling difference is something we're still working through. Probably going to keep on having to work through. If you got an idea for the show, please share it with us. We've got a contact link up at horserockets.com. time for a homeschooling highlight. What the heck's a homeschooling highlight? We talk about a homeschooling family and how they're doing and see what they like about it. Okay, so who's our homeschooling highlight this week? The Wells family. Ah, the Wells family. Who are they? I'm just kidding. Okay, so the Wells family is a little interesting. Uh, Jennifer wrote us and she said that she actually started homeschooling by accident. Her son was at that, weird, that age where he just missed the cutoff for kindergarten. And so she needed something to do to help get him ready because she didn't want him to be the smallest kid in every class he's always going to be in in public school. And so she got books to get him ready for school next year. Well, he started devouring the books. They started loving to work together. And because of that, she realized that he was able to jump and leapfrog and move ahead on some subjects way more than that was what was going to be covered if he had been to kindergarten. So at the time she wrote this to us, she said she doesn't know where it's going to end, but she's really grateful for the time she has had with her son and is really excited for the possibilities that this may take her in the future. If you want to share your reason for homeschooling, go ahead and use the contact link up at horserockets.com. We'd love to hear your story. But wait a second. What if they don't want to go to that website? We're on Twitter too. Oh yeah, at Horse Rockets. Go ahead and look us up. Want to see how many followers we can get. Is this the end of the show? It's the end of the show. Does that mean there are going to be more theme songs? There is going to be a closing theme song. We usually do our dance off, and if you like the song enough, go help support the show by buying it on Amazon.com. Ready? Dance off. And we're out of here. If you would like to share your reasons for all this going, hey, go ahead. We use the contact link. So we have to do this whole thing again.